Hello. We are doing skin caliper. Testing this morning to find approximately our body fat percentage. It only measures subcutaneous fat and is not one of the best, most accurate ways to measure the, body fat. But the formula is for overall fit, right? Yeah, and well, that's what, that's what it says, but you, there's no way to measure your yeah. visceral fat. So it's not 100% accurate. Um, and the best time to do this is in the morning, fasted and dehydrated. Mm -hmm. So, and you want to take measurements from the subject's right side of the body. So make sure you're looking at their right side, not your right side. So first we're gonna do the tricep measurement. So this is gonna be halfway between the shoulder and the elbow, right about here. And you pinch as much as you can, shake it a little to separate the skin from the muscle. And then you pinch it with your left hand and you grip the fold with the caliper. And you line these arrows that are on here. You line them up. And then you get the reading. And right here it says four millimeters. And then we're gonna do the subscapula. So you gotta find the point of their scapula. Will you put your arm back? This helps their scapula stick out so you can find the lower point of it. Will you go back there? Mm -hmm. And you go about an inch away from it, and you pinch with your right hand, shake it, pinch with your left, Whoop. and it's looking like eight millimeters. So the reason you want to be dehydrated is that, um, water can go under your skin so it can skew the measurement um I don't know. <laughs> yeah you drink a lot of water so either put your hand on your shoulder or down on your back we're going to do the axillary point which is going to be just right where a t-shirt seam would be and you line it wait could you stick it up for a second you find the bottom of their sternum and you bring it over to their side and same thing. Sorry. And <laughs> shake. My hands are cold. Yeah, freezing. Mm. Yeah, we just woke up 7 a.m. and we have to do cardio fasted, so, so we gotta get we're this trying thing. to get through this real fast so we can go to cardio and come back Four. and eat. How much? Four. Yeah. And now your chest. This is going to be a diagonal fold. It's going to be halfway between the axillary line and the nipple. Um, for men, for women, it's a third of the way, so it's closer to the armpit. So it's going to be about right here. And you pinch, shake, pinch with your other hand. I'm getting two. And then abs, you're going to go. You're just going to go right above uh, the belly button so that you can pinch and then get this part with the caliper. But you're going to pinch about a centimeter or two centimeters away from the belly button. There's the pinch. Step back a little. Four. And then we're going to do the suprailiac, which is right above the iliac crest right here. So you can ask them to find their hip bone. It's right there. It's going to be a diagonal fold right above their hip bone. tricky so it's halfway between the uh, the fold in your hip 
and your kneecap. So could you like lift your leg up? So just so you can find the fold and the knee, and then you come halfway in between, and that's where you're gonna grab. And have them rest their weight on their other legs so that you can, so they're not flexed here. This one's hard to grab. Those are the skin folds. You want to do mine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would like to go there at the back of the house where a high school teacher caught us when making out. You and me. Okay, so we got seven, seven measurements, eh? Seven measurements. And then we've got a, a formula, gonna plug it into the formula. Yeah. You can choose, so we're gonna do two things. Amy, because she studied exercise and sports science, she knows the formula, how to calculate it herself. Mm -hmm. She's gonna calculate it herself. I'm gonna calculate it on the internet. You can find it on Google, just put body fat caliper measurement formula or we're calculator. Gonna, okay. we're gonna and then we're gonna compare the results. And I already know it's gonna be some super low number that's unrealistic. But as we said, it's only subcutaneous. Sub and I guess it works for people that have more body fat rather than athletes, right? The more body fat you add, the closer it is to the overall body fat, well, right? I think it works for both. You just, you gotta, no. be, you gotta keep consistent no, yeah, no, but like the, you measure. Okay, the, the more fat you have, mm -hmm. the closer it is to the actual, I would say. Because you have more fat under the skin. Right? Maybe, but right. there's also visceral fat. Yeah. Just depends on how much visceral Otherwise, fat. Otherwise, it's useless because it's always like way low, like way low. But you know, the last time I had 4.4 percent, I was about 10, so it doesn't really. No, you were nine. Eight no, nine. we measured. We measured before. 8.9. We measured the. I was about 10 at, at the time. Mm, okay. So, yeah, I mean that's how. That's like that's really bad. No, I think, that's like, uh, you know? it, it, like I said, it's not one of the most yeah. accurate ways, but really it just matters about consistency. So yeah, we'll check back with the results. Stop texting Amy. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to set up a hair appointment. So, what's, what's the result? Okay, so this is the last time, this is this time. We only did one measurement through. Typically you should do two to three. Yeah measurements so you can that's gonna make the mistake smaller because yeah yeah but it's still like how you grab the skin you know so it can yeah. still change one millimeter is nothing especially because our our caliper only has the the mistake is like two millimeters because it has five little dot, uh, dots on 10 millimeters so mm -hmm. it only measures every two millimeters so it's really hard but you add up the, the measurements and you get this number and you plug it into an equation to get your body density. So that's Camille's body density and that's my body density. Mm -hmm. And then you calculate that out into another equation based on various factors. So I put that we're white and looked at our age. Um, and Camille's came out to 3.4. And when he put in his information on the website, it came out as 3.41. So they're pretty close. And then I calculated out for mine 11.3%, and the website said 11.36. Yeah. So. And, and the website, oops, the website I use is Linear Software. It's really easy to find. You guys just put body fat calculator, caliper, and then there's all the methods here they have one two three four five six different methods you can calculate it with you just put your age sex and weight and it calculates out and so and we know these are lower it, in the acsm guidelines it says that the body fat percentage is off plus or minus three percent um it could be more than that mm. though so these aren't completely accurate these are most likely more yeah i mean so the last time, last time I was 4.4, .4, 
but then I went to measure with bi uh, bio impedance, body, really? impedance. body impedance yeah. and it was 9% so that's like a 5% difference almost and so this time we're gonna we're gonna go there too right yeah. we're gonna go tonight we're gonna go to measure with uh, and it's cool. What's the name of the brand? Nutrishop. In Nutrishop, but what's the brand of the machine? In, oh, in line? Body line or something? We'll see, but it's a pretty good one. Yeah, we'll show and you bio, the, whole, the whole printout. It prints yeah, out like a yeah. whole Bio impedance has, has, or body impedance has mistakes too. So we're mm -hmm. gonna compare those two. The most accurate way to measure your body fat percentage is a DEXA scan, but that can get expensive. Yeah. So um, $70 to measure yourself. Yeah, so. So honestly, if you're measuring in a different way and you keep measuring that way, then, and as long as you're consistent with that mm -hmm. and you see progress, then you know you're making progress. So the number's not gonna be exact, but the number's not really what's important. Yeah, because we, we're not in, in I'm not 3.4 and Amy's not 11.7. So yeah, we'll see you later. So, uh, we're back at home. We're going to explain our body composition. Yeah. So we got measured by Amy, by her caliper method. And then we did in-body BMI, right? What is it? Body impedance. No, BIA. BIA. Body impedance. Analysis. Method? Analysis. Oh, BIA. Oh, yeah. yeah. So... We went to Nutrishop and they have that fancy machine and it's better than the home scale. Um, so we use that fancy machine to basically figure out what we're made of. It's not as good as DEXA, but if you don't want to spend $70 on a body scan, this is this works. Yep, especially if you want to get it done free, you can go to Nutrishop mm -hmm. in Sherman Oaks and the guys will help you out, they're awesome. Yep. Okay. So, should so I start we'll, explaining? Yeah, just say your results. We'll, yeah. Okay, so this was the first time we did it. Um, this is the co body composition analysis up here, and it uh, it just breaks down, you know, your total body water, dry lean mass, body fat mass, and weight. And there's muscle fat analysis, so it has your skeletal muscle mass and your body fat mass. And that's in a percentage over here, as you can see. So the first time, um, oh wait, no, that's not the percentage. That's the pounds. Yeah. Yeah. So I had just under 20 pounds of fat. So that made me 14.3% body fat. Um, and then it gives you your BMI. And down here, it tells you where everything's distributed on your body. Mm -hmm. So it's got like segment and lean mass percentage. And then at the bottom, this is really the easiest part, is it's got the weight, your ske skeletal muscle mass, and your percent body fat. Mm -hmm. So flip over to the next time we measured, and it has the history from last time, and the new measurements 
and it shows what direction you're going in. So I went down in weight, my skeletal muscle mass stayed the same, and my body fat percentage went down 1.2% in 10 days. So these results I was extremely happy with. Like these, yeah. were, these were great results it's like, because keeping your skeletal muscle mass yeah. is like... It's like ideal, like... Yeah. It's ideal results. Like it's really hard to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's almost impossible to do actually. Keep your muscle and lose <laughs> Especially only, on only dieting. Yeah. yeah. On hardcore dieting. Yeah. So, so you did a really good job, Amy. So then it's got the there's the percent and the pounds. So I'm down to seventeen point five pounds instead of nineteen point seven. Mm -hmm. So Okay, my results. So the lo the last time I went I was two hundred and sixteen pounds and my skeletal muscle mass was 113 pounds and I had 19 pounds of fat on me and so the percentage is 8.9% of fat. 8.9% of my body weight is was fat the last time we went and like you guys see my body weight, the body mass index is 32 almost. Which is, I think it's obese, right, Amy? That's one of the obese categories. Yeah, so you're supposed yeah. to be somewhere between 18.5 to 25, which is for normal people, but for athletes and for bodybuilders, it's it's almost impossible to be in there, you know? So it doesn't tell you anything because it doesn't show how much muscle you have. It only mm -hmm. counts with your weight and height. Oh, I just noticed. They, have, so, they have the little yeah. dash for ideal. Yeah, so I'm too like, high, wait, too I think I'm like very obese or something, but... That, that, but your that, body, look, you're obese, but your body yeah, fat percentage is too low. Exactly, yeah. So <laughs> this does not say anything about bodybuilders or athletes. And so I was, like I said, 216 pounds, 113 pounds of muscle and 8.9% of fat. And the second time I went, I progressed too. So I lost a little bit of weight because I'm getting ready for the show. I went from 216 pounds to 211.4 and but I lost a little bit of muscle. I'm not as perfect as Amy, mm. but I lost well, more. I lost money. more pounds, and so I, I lost pound and a half of muscle mass, which sucks. But I'm mm. okay with it now because I'm getting ready for a show. But what's good? I, I lost 0.9 percent of body fat, which That's all in at 10 my days. at my weight is two pounds. It's like around two pounds of fat. So I lost That's more because I lost more than two pounds of fat. Yeah, so it's it's a it's a lot of fat. It's also a lot of muscle, but that's fine because I'm getting ready for sure. I just get have to get shredded. My calories are so low that my body's just losing everything it can, mm -hmm. but also the fat. So I'm gonna get shredded. And so and you could also you guys can see how much water, which we both calculated it. And we both hold a lot of water, so we're excited to drop the water before the competition. We're like just over the healthy percentage yeah. of water. And also holding. this tells you your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, and that's how many calories you can eat if you're just laying in bed not doing anything. If you're just your body just to work, I, I can eat 2200 calories just for my, my body to work which I don't even eat that much and I do cardio and training on top of it right now because I'm re getting ready for a show. This is a really good this is a really good uh, information for you because you add your activity during the day and that's how much you're supposed to eat. Yeah. And Amy's and Amy's BMR 15, is 1500. So if Amy eats 1500 calories and just lays in bed, she's going to stay the same weight. She's not going to change weight. So this is all done by Nutri shop in Sherman Oaks by InBody Machine, and we loved it, right? Yeah, it was awesome. We don't need this anymore. Yeah, yeah, no, we love there, that Nutri shop. Yeah. Is like that's, yeah. that's my favorite. If you guys come down to LA, definitely come down to Sherman Oaks. Yeah. And after our show, we're going down there, <laughs> getting all the protein cookies, all the protein bars, and all the There's protein nice. chips. There's like all these <laughs> birthday cake flavors and there's there's like little protein cakes. Like yeah, they're not they're not what? They're not like healthy. Yeah. Like you think protein bar you're like, "Oh, that's healthy." No, protein bars really most of the time are not as healthy as you think. They're, they're really high in carbs. They're good if you're not dieting. Yeah, and they're a good snack if you're like mm -hmm. not good at prepping your meals and they're like a good treat mm -hmm. when you're not prepping. But so this measurement it was pretty precise for me, like 
this is what I was expecting from it. Like we see yeah. the we see the progress at in time. So if you measure yourself with the same method every day, you will see the progress. And this was mm -hmm. just insanely more precise than the caliper. The caliper and was just complete yeah. nonsense, you know. Well, yeah, the caliper is really low. Um, like I said, it's usually off about yeah. three percent, give or take. But, and, if you, if but you, when we measured, yeah. when we measured, yours was. 3.4, which was a lot lower, um, yeah. but then it was no. at the store. It was wait, which one's? No, I went. So I went from 4.4 to 3.4 on caliper, and I went mm -hmm. from 8.9 to 8, which is I, I went one percent on both methods. So yeah. you can see that both methods have the same progress. So you can see if you measure yourself with one method then you can track your progress and you see that you're getting leaner and you gotta look in the mirror too because you gotta see the end result but yeah. it's definitely good to use the same method i i i guess i prefer the in-body now yeah i prefer I the in-body because then but... then you can you can see everything else yeah. especially on competition you can see your water yeah. and that's going to be helpful towards the end because we know how much water yeah. and we can yeah. calculate what percentage that is and what we need to lose and especially and when, on when my, you're on my caliper measurements, I was 11.7 the first mm -hmm. time and 11.3, so it was yeah. like less of a change. And when you see that, it makes you like too comfortable, like too happy, because 4.4%, yeah. it's insane. Like you, you're shredded, shredded. So you're like, oh, I'm 4.1%. I don't even have to diet anymore, you know? <laughs> so it's not a good way to, to like I mean, get the numbers. You, you can still do skin caliper, but you need to be aware yeah. Yeah. that the error on skin caliper is Just pretty large. To look only at the progress that's it yeah the number doesn't matter you know yeah only look at the change it has to go down when you're getting leaner that's it because uh, honestly our body fat percentage on the in body scan is probably low too because yeah. it's not as good of an analyzer of your body as the dexa scan mm -hmm. like we said dexa is the most accurate way to measure body composition but it's hospital grade so it's really expensive um, if you're willing to spend that money, great. Then you get to know where you're at. But that's not something I would do all the time. It's really nice to just go in a shop and get it done for free really quick. It's super easy. Yeah. And, and like so, we said, Nutrishop, those guys are our favorite. Okay. Yeah. This was a body fat measurement. This is how we do it. This is how we, here we're going to do it in the future. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you something from when we bulk up and how we bulk <laughs> up. It's interesting because I'm, I'm so interested to see how much muscle I gain and how much fat I gain, you yeah. know? You cannot just like, gain muscle, you're gonna lose fat, uh, gain mus gain fat too. Yeah. But it's gonna be interesting to like track it down. Maybe you're gonna be gaining too much fat. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna back down on the calories a little bit, you know, and gain muscle slowly. Or it can help you change up your macros yeah. so, and figure out what you need. It's not bad, you know, to look at those Mirrors is the most important, but you can look yeah. at this too. Mm -hmm. I hear a lot of people saying though that this stuff is is pointless, like there's no point in tracking this because it's not accurate, but that's false. I mean like, it makes sense to not track it if you're doing skin calipers one day, in body another day, and hydro weighing the next, like those are all going to be completely different. So you need to pick a method you like and stick with it and that's going to show you where you're heading because it measures the same way so the measurements consistent which means the results and the progress are consistent so right. as long as you're paying attention then like we said numbers don't matter it's the progress mm -hmm. so pay attention to the progress are we done yeah thank you for watching subscribe let us know how you measure your boy fat if you do mm -hmm. If you tried the DEXA scan, we actually never tried it, right? No, we've never tried it. We want we've to. We've never tried it. We will one day. Mm -hmm. And enjoy your day. See you next video.